Your Majesties, you sent for me. Yes, you sent for Thank you. <sighs> so, the future of Shalosha Kingdom rests on your shoulders, and getting ready is the key. Son, uh, you know your father is right. You have been engaged for six months now to noble chief's daughter, that is Mildred. And you're not making any move to consolidate the union. I mean, taking it to the next level. I understand your concerns. And uh, marriage for me is serious business. And I would like to take my time. So, I would like you to know that to decide for your marriage is only for the commoners. As a prince, you are bound by tradition. And as a king and your father, I proceed over your marriage. The time is near, so you must be prepared. Son, it is not a matter of convenience, but responsibility. They finally had that talk with me yesterday. Oh. I'm glad they finally had it off their chest. I mean, they've been hoping that you make a move, but instead you got someone's daughter engaged and you don't look like you want to marry her. Whose side are you on? Don't forget, you are an heir like me and is expected to get married too. I agree, but unlike you, I did not agree to a loveless marriage alliance with no intention of being married. Listen, that girl probably had a lot of suitors coming for her in marriage, but she stuck with you, who has no intention of being married. You've been engaged to this girl for six months. Come on. Mildred is a very beautiful girl. I like her very much and I'm sure I will grow to love her. From where I stand, that is a good thing. But I want to go on an adventure. I want to see places I believe never existed because marriage is going to cut off my adventure wings. <laughs> you see, I think you've forgotten that um, our fate is decided by the gods and our choices decided by the king and our desires decided by the people we rule. Can't you see that from the moment we were born, 
we are not allowed to like or want things that are not in accordance with the people we represent. I'll take my chances. I need to go on an adventure. I know Mildred will understand because doing what I want, when I want, makes me a happy husband. So, cheers to my new adventure. Go to my bedroom and get me that fashion medicine. I'll write you a list. Quick. Here comes my precious son, the prince of Tabitha Kingdom. <laughs> the bravest and the finest. <laughs> Her Majesty the Queen, your praises flatter me. Thank you. I have come to speak with both of you. Go on, speak right. further, sir. I have thought long and hard about our last discussion and I have decided to get married. Wonderful. Oh, this is great news. Good news. <laughs> <laughs> if um, the king will permit me to go on one last adventure before this marriage. Adventure. The type you sometimes disguise as a commoner, visit strange places, taking pictures and all that. As common as it may sound, doing that gives me great joy and satisfaction. And I'll be grateful if you will permit me to derive on one last joy and satisfaction. Then I will close the doors to my adventurous spirit for I know that getting married will tie me down and keep me focused on family. So, what you're asking for is quite difficult. Last time you went on this bashful adventure, you returned after three months. So how long do you intend to stay? Not for long. Believe me, not for long. No, like specifically, like how long? Mother, I do recognize and accept that I have duties to perform to the king and the people. On one condition, that you go with your guards and uh, you must be a pure leader on princely status, no disguise. As the king pleases. Your majesties, your wishes. Your Majesty, I am sorry I couldn't find the maxim. You're so stupid. Because I specifically said go to the bedside drawer. Your small head didn't tell you to go to the wardrobe to check if since you didn't find it there. Get out, go to the wardrobe. I told you I want my chicken grilled. Why did you fry it? I am sorry, Your Highness. The last time I grilled the chicken, you said it wasn't nice, so I have to fry it. Will you shut up? Shut your trash! Who gave me the boss to speak when I'm speaking? Are you mad? Get out! Shush, get out! So what? Famous fools! Idiot! Useless, crazy things, animals, commoners. Useless things, mad people. Your Highness. I see that my princess is difficult to please. Will I be able to satisfy her needs? Your Highness? Why would you speak like that? 
You are the future king. You can want and get anything and everything you so desire. You know, it excites me to know that you consider me privileged. I see you enjoying royalty, bossing the maids and guards around, making them jump and lose control at the sound of your voice. Your Highness, I'm just the daughter of a noble chief. The benevolence of the king and queen gave me the privilege to be respected in royalty. We should do this more often. When was the last time we had a chat like this? We should do this often. After all, we are to be man and wife soon. Of course, Your Highness. I shall make myself available to please Your Highness. And don't you find it pleasing that I want to spend enough time with you? Your Highness. My wants and needs are inconsequential as long as my prince is concerned. You know, I am very impressed with your response. You will make a fine queen one day. Thank you, Your Majesty. It's a beautiful day, isn't it? Your Majesty, yes. greetings. Please, can I join you? Sure, sit. What troubles you, my child? Your Majesty? Yes. I'm becoming a laughing stock in this kingdom. I've been engaged to the prince for the past six months, yet, there are no talks of marriage. Mildred, I'm not a man. Incidentally, I'm not a man. I'm a woman. You are a woman. You know, there, is, there are ways men act. Their behavior is one kind. Your Majesty, I have those questions on my mind. Please permit me to ask. Go ahead. The Prince, does he not love me? Does he have someone who is in love with that he can't talk about his affection? Mildred, I understand your concerns. I know my son. But this one you're thinking about is not the case here. Uh, my son has agreed to get married. And he will do that. After this one last adventure. Your Majesty. How long will this adventure be? Wow. Patience. Faith, your dread, trust. I understand my son has a duty to his father and to the people of this kingdom, which he can afford to keep everyone waiting, including you. So you get married to you. Oh, Mildred. Your Highness. You're here. Yeah. I hope there's no problem. Not at all, Your Highness. I just want to speak with you. 
Sure, go ahead, speak freely. Your Highness, are you shying away from marrying me or don't you love me? I see you have heard about my adventure. I like you very much. If I didn't, I would have asked for another alliance. Okay, so why are you not eager to get married to me? Because after marriage, my life will be about ruling this kingdom and I'll not be able to do what I love to do. Your Highness, your fate is sealed. And as a prince, what you like or what you want is not an option. I'm aware of that. And that is why I call it Last Adventure. Look, once I get back, we will get married and you will rule beside me. Your Highness, that is so satisfying to hear. Right? And even at that, I don't have the power to stop you. You are the prince. No, 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 no. no. Don't say it like that. Your understanding matters to me as my fiancé. Right. But please, do not be long and come back to me as soon as possible. I will. You mean the king approved of this adventure? How did you do it? I made a promise to get married as soon as I get back. But the thing is, they want me to move in a princely state. And that is going to ruin the fun. Yeah, of course. It will ruin it. I mean, imagine you're moving in a convoy of maids and guards. People will become suspicious of you. Did you agree to that? I had to. What would you have me do? It is considered a grave sin if you disobey the king. Yeah, you will definitely be punished. I mean, disobeying the king and the supreme ruler. Yeah. But I think it's a forgivable sin for a son to disobey the father. What do you think? <laughs> you know, I have always known you as bad influence, but the king and queen refuse to see it. All they do is go about singing praises of how great of a son you are and a prince. <laughs> I'll pretend I didn't hear that. I'll let it slide. Because I know it is not you, but the jealousy in you speaking. <laughs> really? Yeah. Me, jealous of you? As you can see. No, I'm not. Let me show you that thing I was telling you. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Yeah. See that? Okay. That's what I was talking about. Have you heard that the prince is planning a trip out of this kingdom? Just when we think that he's going to be marrying the princess consort. I mean, this engagement is becoming the longest. See, huh, I'm not sure the prince even like her. Like, I mean, who would? Who would love such a cruel and wicked person? Shh! Bring your voice down. Someone might hear you. Oh, oh. You're talking as if you don't know that the royal marriages has never been about love. Why then are you talking about love? At least there should be likeness. Had even the prince likes her, he will not be looking for every opportunity to run away instead of marrying her. I can see that you now make the business of the royal palace your personal business as jobless fools, right? You stupid twat! Speak so low of me! You tell such grave lies against me, right? I see you. Chief maid! Chief maid! My princess! You called me? Yes, I did! I want to ask you please. What are you teaching this, this, this dirty pig, this sweat? What? This... This low life smelling maggot! I have the temerity to talk so low about me. And it tells such 
curious in lies of me. Right. I see that you are lesbians, right? You are jobless. I will give you a good job to work on. Chief Maid, you must punish this sword. This vagabond. This loose mouse. You must punish them until their hairs turn grey. So next time, you will learn how to cut your tongues. Fools! Dirty smelling pigs! Stupid, stupid! Vagabond! A kingdom blessed with riches. What is wrong? Why do you look like this? Everyone is so mean. Everyone. Even the mates. They are so mean. What happened? Everyone thinks that your planned adventure is a means to escape a marriage. That you do not love me? Guys, you can't even stand me. So you, you're running away from me. I cannot believe you allowed yourself to be moved by side talks. All this might have been an arranged partnership. Me embarking on this adventure does not mean I'm avoiding you. You can come with me if you want. No. No, Your Highness. Thank you. But I'm not open to traveling. Though I... I appreciate your kind gestures and your reassurances. Thank you. And um, I'm sorry for bothering you with my teeth. I know my delay has affected you, but I promise you, I will not keep you waiting for too long. Cheer up. So sorry, Your Majesty. We lost track of the prince. Your Majesty, what nonsense is this idiot talking about? You lost track of somebody you're supposed to protect? Are you mad? No, 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 Your Majesty. He might have left the palace in disguise to escape us. I'm sorry. He knew that he was going to disobey me, and he agreed to my conditions. Your Majesty, our son. Going out there all by himself without protection or escort. Is that okay? Leave my sons. Everyone. Where is the out of this little idiot's head? Look at this one that cannot even carry her useless body. It's a god of all life. What do we do? Oh. This does 
don't make sense at all. This does not make sense. Yes, I wanted to talk to you about the wedding dress, the jewelries, everything. I want to know whether you like them. Your Majesty, I appreciate your benevolence. But if I must say on a second thought, I feel that um, since the prince and I will be on the marching outfit, that I should wait for him to be back. So we sit back together and then choose the best for us. Oh. You made a valid point. But you know, men don't actually care about what they wear on their wedding days. It is women's obsession. Women are obsessed about their clothing, about their accessories, especially the jewelry, the hair, everything. I know you're not excited about the wedding because your husband-to-be is away. But I can assure you, we are on top preparation for the wedding. Once he arrives, the wedding takes place. Thank you, my sister. You're welcome. You're so kind. You're welcome. Enjoy your drink. The prince is our only child. He's out there. I mean, somewhere very far away. With no guard, no assistance. Honestly, I am so worried about him. The prince will be fine. This is not the first time he's going out on an adventure without his guards. Okay? He's an adult. Majesty. I can't explain it. I just want him to come back. I wish he could come back today. Any word from him? Did he tell you when he's coming back? Not a word yet. Well, he assured us that he's going to come back soon. We can only pray for his well-being and safe return. What do you need? My son, I want my child. You need your favorite. Get her favorite. So how is my good friend, your father, King Ramon II of Mude the King? My father, the king, is doing fine, your majesty. And he sends his warm regards. I see. That's so nice. <laughs> I will receive it in good faith. So, Ramon, did you hear from your best friend? Oh, <clears throat> Your Majesty, apart from coming here to say my greetings, Prince Mike contacted me and asked me to tell His Majesty that he's doing fine where he is. Fine. But did he tell you when he's coming back? No, Your Majesty. He didn't make mention of that. But he said he's doing fine and found happiness in the land he discovered. Hmm. See? Sure enough. Ramon, when next he contacts you, tell him his mother is sad and worried. Tell him he should be careful and he should stay out of problem out there. I will do that, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, permit me to take my leave now as I have an important appointment in the neighboring kingdom. Come on, Ramon. I've asked me to bring you a oh. drink and everything. Your Majesty, I appreciate, but maybe next time. <coughs> it's okay. Thank you, Your Majesty. It's just a little I told you not to worry, our son. It's fine. Let me see. I'm sure, I know. Mabri! 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 
share with us the experience of the adventure not as i expected father but i am back now to fulfill my duties as the prince of this kingdom mm -hmm. i am pleased to hear that honestly glad to hear it and i know mildred will be happier to hear about this because she will believe that you have come to make things progress um why is nobody asking me who this is because we are expecting our son to do the need. The tradition is part of the cut. True. Okay, um, this is Sulusa. I brought her to be one of the maids of this palace. Maids? Yes. No, we don't need any more maids. We have enough already that are attending to us. I am aware, mother, but where I stayed, her mother gave me a roof over my head. And the only one thing she begged of me was to bring her to civilization so she can make some money and send home. I couldn't say no. So you want this one to be the maid here? Yes, ma'am. Uh, in that case, I will talk to the chief maid to get her settled and put her through the duties she will need to be the maid you're talking about. Thank you, your majesties. I will never forget your benevolence. Uh -oh, we're glad to have you one piece. Thank you. Human? I human or statue? I human beings? Spirits? I does not shake at all. I start. I check. Woman! Oh, Woman! Stati! What do you think you are doing? What are you doing? Cha, 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 cha. I surprises. So I, human. Of course we are. I do not talk to me. I ask. Yeah. Now it's late like yes, you talk up. I ask, you stop. I was wondering who I did talk them to me. So this are not statue, a human too. I test the It's okay. Hold up, hold up. Stop, hold up. Come here. Drop it down. I said, come here. Ah. I checked a human or a statue. Listen to me, from this moment, this is what you are expected to wear. The maiden beside you will take you around and show you where you'll be sleeping and things you are expected to do in this palace. Did you hear me? Did you hear me? I hear it. Now let's go. Drop it. Come. Drop it. I want to test that. Drop I it. Drop. Okay, I have to check with the king and get back to you. I 
haven't told you yet. A kingdom blessed with riches. Yeah, we're still saying the same thing. What is what what is funny? Touches. What touches? Why are you touching me? I touches you. Now you listen to me. In your pathetic life, don't ever come close to me again. Why you shout? You does not know my hand. It is softness. I said, do not come close to me again. You didn't hear me? But you are the only person I know in these places. How can I does not come close to you? Was it my decision to bring you here? You should thank your stars I am not heartless. If not, I would have dumped you in the bush. It was play play I plays. I did not fight you. Do I look like your playmates? Don't ever come close to me. The next time you touch me, I will send you out of this palace. Nonsense. I does not do anything wrong, bro. I does not do anything wrong. Today, I cooks. I cooks you chops. King's chops, majestic chops, and if I wickedness chops, everybody chops. I cooks you. Who is, who is this one? Come on, just because the prince brought you here doesn't make you an important person. Drop that pot, oh. drop the tomato. I don't know which one I cook, I cook. She is such a bush girl. Just look at her. I wonder the interior bush the prince went to take pictures this time and then return with this, this thing. What I do? No, what I do? See, 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 this place, you insult me, I does not take. Mm. I give you respect, I give you respect, you give me respect. I respect you, I respect you, you insult me, I kiss. Uh -huh. I kiss. Hey. Did this bush get just threatened us? <laughs> so I told you, I told you, she's wearing a maid uniform like us, yet she feels like a noble because she came with a prince. Did we teach her a What I thought? Right, okay, lesson me. No. Hey, does not chop mouth, does not chop mouth. I come to tell you food is ready. I see you chop yourself. Are you mad? How dare you? Is something wrong with you? Um, baby, 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 just ignore her. She thinks. Kissing means feeding from each other's mouth. Your Highness, I would not ignore her. She's a fool to come in here like that. Is this your room? Father's ready. Is this a dining room? I come to information that food ready. Who sent you here? Don't you have cussy? Weren't you trained? Are you mad? Baby, baby, baby. She's not accustomed to our way of living. Okay, just, just leave her. Your Highness, she must be punished. Yes. Really? Yes. She has to know her place here. This is not the forest. Go on your knees. Kneel down! Raise your hands. Close your eyes. And be dead till I say otherwise. Fool. Babe, we were in the middle of something. You wanted to be here? Babe, but her eyes are closed. She's looking at us. You say her eyes are closed. She just closed it. I will pluck at your eyes, you fool. Come on, honey. Come, come on, look at me. Chopping, chopping. You see? You see what I'm saying? Huh? Get out. I go. Get out! Okay, I go. Get out! Shopping is gone. Hey, 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 hey! What are you doing here? I shine your room. Big madam say I shine your room. Martina! I does not look for you. Room I shine. Martina! My friends. What is you doing here? Oh, sorry. I assigned her to be your personal manager. Assigned her to do what? Reassign this girl. I don't want her to touch anything that has to do with me. Do you understand? You can reassign her to the dogs. Now take her out. 
I'm sorry. I will reassign her immediately. Oh yeah, let's go. Let's go. I stop shining. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, get out, get out. Let's go. Let's go. I go. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Please, sorry. Go sorry. and I go. Don't get angry at the sight of her. She is so local and uncultured. You are not allowing her to answer the question. Maybe there's a reason the prince hates the maid he brought to the palace. Hmm? What did you do? Or did you try to seduce him? The prince has not made a glance at us for once, even when he's at the liberty to have the maidens for his pleasure. And you think he will consider it trash? Like you. Or did you make romantic moves on him? Una, yet again, you are not allowing her to answer the question. What did you do? Hmm. So, if I hear the question, you question me. Mm. You ask why Prince hates. Mm. I does not know. Now you know Prince hates. So, ask Prince why hates and tell me why Prince hates. Now I walk. See this one. Please go that side though. Chief made relax. Ah, ah. Well, beyond that. Come on. I want us to talk. I want us to talk about those small, small things that are too small for the queen to notice. Those minute things. I want us to talk about them. She is unusual, Your Majesty. The prince has been very angry with her. He doesn't want her to show up. No, tell me, what, what's unusual? Besides the, the unexpected maid my son came back with, the prince do not want to see her anymore. You know the prince is powerful, and no one can compare him to do what he does not want to do. I am wondering why he should go and bring somebody to the palace and do not want to see her anymore. Wait, what are you talking about? How can he hate somebody he begged the king and I to receive? How? Oh, it surprises me too. That's just it. Maybe she did something terrible to him that made him hate her that much. See, I want you to do me a favor. I want you to put your eyes on the ground. I know that girl is on a mission. I want to know what that mission is. I will just do as you commanded. Don't Majesty. fail. No problem. Don't fail. No problem. Go back to your duties and see you. Thank you. Careful. Are you okay? she performing, try to perform like that? She's a worshipper of the sun and the moon. She's a strange being that I am curious. But I'm here to know about her and that of her people. Your Majesty, I am not only concerned. But curious, like you rightly said, our son hates her. He cannot stand the sight of the same girl he brought to the palace. 
What's the reason for the hatred? Well, uh, there's something we do not know yet, but time shall tell. Oh, don't you think we should ask him? Why well, he hates someone, he cannot stand the same person he brought to the palace. But better still, she might have done something wrong to him. That's the reason for the hatred. Well, I've always maintained that our son has some explanations to make. Maybe you'll ask him. That girl is weird. Uh, she is. Uh, when she walks? Some epic. Well, that's rags she's putting on. She's improving. Stand up. Thanks. Kings, queens, I bring color water, sweet color water, or I bring tea. What you want? Uh, we don't want anything from you. We are just curious. We saw you worshipping the moon last night. Ah, my god! I worship my god. Moon, my place, we worship. Yes. My place, very beautiful. My place, moon, me, like this. Prince, no. My son knows? Uh, what's your spiritual connection in the worship of the moon? I connect moon! Me connect moon. Everybody in my village kingdom connects moon. Moon our God. We pray moon, moon bring blessing. We pray moon, seek go. We pray moon, money come. We pray moon, we go, we bring something farm and it's good. I tell you story. One man my village, they born here, does not have teeth. Man cannot chop corn, man cannot chop meat, man cannot chop yam. One day, full moon, come. Man, come. Man, pray moon. Man, pray moon. Sukun tankwa tankwa kwa, sukun tankwa ta. Man, pray moon, moon, answer man. Man, have teeth. Man, happy. <laughs> now, man, chop yam, yeah. man, chop corn, man, chop. It's okay. What is wrong with you? What I do? You want me not to come close to you. I go. Now you, it touches me. You keep using your actions to call my attention. And does not understand though. Is it difficult to live quietly? Why do you keep calling attention to yourself? What does I do now? What does I do? Well, the freak show you displayed last night has made the king and the queen ask questions about you and your people. I does not know. I does not know, but I, I have to praise now. I have to praise to God of moon, God of purityness and, and perfectionist. Are you listening to me? You stop that. I stop praying. Stop praying and live quietly in this palace. Okay? I don't want to see that again. I does not know how I can stop you. Sun come out, I does not pray. Moon come out, I does not pray. No, it is difficult, Nessu. No one sees what I see. This is the first time you're returning from an adventure with no story to tell. Why would I tell stories when the pictures I took is worth more than a thousand years? So the pictures are going to tell the stories now. What are you insinuating? I don't know what you think I mean with my question, but I was only wondering if there are beautiful maidens, you know, <laughs> walking around <laughs> braless. <laughs> the man with a dirty mind. Well, if you care to know, I wasn't looking, so I don't have an answer to that. It's all right, but you see, my waist still hurts. Although the physician prescribed some drugs, I've taken them, but it still hurts. Why won't your waist hurt? Tell me, after you have finished all the innocent maidens in your palace, why won't it hurt? So who's with the dirty mind now? <laughs> I'm only saying the truth. <laughs> Am I not saying the truth? <laughs> oh, the hell is it? Thank you. I hope. It helps. Oh. It's not looking fun. I have to finish it. Drunk. Ah. 
bitter, huh? Praise. So bitter. Wow. Really? What is it? The pain is gone. It's gone? I, I can... I can literally feel my waist. Are you serious? It's gone. You didn't tell me you have such a wonderful hub in your kingdom. Uh, this is not from us. She made it herself. Oh. That thing that is does you in your body. We call it man pain. Yes. It is worries you because you does not use your man something very well. Because if you use it, if you use it to perform, <laughs> you exercise the man performance. It does not happen again. But now your goodness. I go, sir. Hey, 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 come and take this. Come on, come here. Come here. Come and take this away. I go. Is she in any way insinuating that my sexual inactivity is the reason for my waist pain? But I know you're active, so... I am not active. You're I'm active. In, not ladies. always. That reminds me. Is she new? I've not seen her before. Really? What are you doing here and why are you touching me? I helps you. You complain body pains, body pains. Did I ask for your help? Lie, I, I continue. Okay, shut up, did I ask you for your help? And how dare you lay your filthy hands on me? Why are you vex, vex? It's, it's helping I help. Why are you helping me? We have a royal misuse that takes care of massages. I have told you time and time and again to live quietly in this palace. I don't want people asking unnecessary questions that will put you into trouble. Now get out of my room. Would you like my friend, get out of my room! <sighs> Telling me I like it. I don't want to see you in this room again. You even lock. Come, get out, get out, get out. Let's lock the door. <laughs> what is wrong with this girl? What is she even using my body? You try to seduce the prince. You lay your hands on my prince. How dare you? I do not seduce. I go I help prince touch pain so that prince well again. As what? Touch which prince? Who sent you? Body. Shut up! Shut up, you disgust me already. Shut up! Who are you? Are you a doctor? Who sent you? Who asked you to even go close? What temerity? What, what gods? Are you mad? Oh, I see that you just came from the gutter to come do what here? I'm asking a question. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Auntie Wickedness, I'm sorry. Every time you hate, I'm sorry. You are mad. I see that you came from that slab where you. That, 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 that goddess you came from, you had the mind to come say you want to be a queen here, right? Or have a church for my prince. My prince! No, I does not do that. I does not do that. Prince does not like me. If I born child, he does not like the child. God forbid. You are God forbid here. Do you hear me? You have the guts to go close to my prince, my own property. How dare you? I, are you mad or something? Are you mad? I don't know. I don't know to do so. I help. Prince, back pain, I help. I don't know to do so. It's not sweetness for body. Who has to help? You are crazy for doing that. Anti wickedness. Stop. I should stop. You are asking me to stop. You are speaking when I speak, right? Oh, now I feel that you, you, you have wings now, right? All right, you are less busy, I'll make you busy. Do you hear me? Lie down, face the sun. Here? 
if I, if I, if I descend on you, if I descend on you, like that face the sun now. If I, if I, if I slap, if I slap your skull, like that face the sun right. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Sun. Don't shine my face. That's what will kill you there. That's what will kill you and blind your eyes. Fool. Mate. What will happen? After 30 minutes, burn her to that swimming pool side. Let her lie on the floor. Let that hot floor smoke her back very well. Do you understand me? Idiot. Fool. Oh, you madam. Miss Lambert. Five hours. I'm sure she must have learned her lesson. She'll be here till after sunset. Come on, you're overdoing it. She's just an ignorant girl. Why are you making a big fuss out of her actions? Your Highness, do you miss her massage? Do you wish she can touch you again? Do you know how disgusted I felt when I heard you were mourning stupidly because her hands were on your neck? That was disgusting and disrespectful. I did not know she was the one massaging me. Hmm. Immediately I realized I kicked her out. <laughs> now can you just let her go? Really? Oh, really? Really, ask him? <laughs> Your Highness. She is my maid. My personal maid. Personal. She understand that word, right? You rejected her. And she was assigned to me as my personal maid. Please, I oblige you to kindly mind your business, Your Highness. First of all, you don't talk to me like that. And secondly, I just want you to know that you are taking this too far. <laughs> Uncle does not left me here. You see, I, I will kick you out. <laughs> are you sick or something? <coughs> Auntie Wicked Nurse, I said sorry, Nurse, before. I will, strang I will strangle you. Shut up! I shut up it already. Must you talk? Ha! <laughs> I'm dying. You should die already. <laughs> I'll get your coffee. It's a pleasure to buy your coffee. The ground is hotness. The ground is hotness. <laughs> Wash all these clothes. And make sure they are all clean and well dried. Did I make myself clear? I wash. Take me river. I wash clothes. To do what? I wash clothes. River, what I wash? Wait, do you know? Don't you have sense? Nobody goes to the river to wash, especially from the royal home. I'm not talking about river. We have a washing machine inside here, so go inside here and wash this clothes. I'm not talking about river. Where do you think you are going? Eh? River, wash clothes, water. You don't need that. Finta, Finta, Wuna. Yes, okay, she come. Oh, yeah. Take me, River. River, we go. Where do you think you are going? Calm down. Take her to the laundry room. Show her how she will make use of the electric machine to wash. Okay, ma'am. Okay. okay. Yes, ma'am. Follow her. So, Lisa, let's go. River room. Come Follow her. Me. I go. So, River room. So, Prince. Ah! Where did, where did, where did, where did Prince bring this girl from? I'm talking about image. So, Lusa, this one you are having. 
happy. <laughs> Did something good happen? Yes. Uh -huh. I cooked today. Today I cook for everybody. My place we cook well well. Since I come, I does not cook. But today, I cook. Hope you know you cannot prepare anything that is outside the timetable. Hmm? You are making soup and swallow. I, I cook, I cook. Go, 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 go. I cook, finish, you come, your chops. Okay. <laughs> I surprise this you now, now, now. Zulus, Zulus. Ah, put fire. Stubbornness fire. For the kingdom, Chulucha. Fire does not come. Maybe this one does not know my language. I bring this one now. I lose. Can't you see there's a cooker? If you don't know how to use it, you call for assistance. Hey? Eh? Do you want to burn the house? In fact, the chief may need to see this. So this. Hmm. Today I cook. Madam. What did I hear you are doing? So this is how you would have been sprawling the whole palace. Oh yeah? I cooks. I can see you are ready to burn everybody. Oh yeah? Let's go! Go, 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 go from this place. Go! Wuna! Wuna! Saba! Saba! Come and take this is off! Come, I think this is off. What do you call this? Ignorance that almost wiped off my family? I'm sorry, Your Majesty. I never knew her big head is too empty. She knows nothing about civilized world. Really? And she almost killed everybody. You, what were you thinking asking this idiot to go cook for everybody? Please, I'm sorry. She talked about being a good cook. So I just decided to give her a chance. A chance that almost destroyed us. Don't ever give her any chance again. Don't entrust anything serious into this idiot's hand until she's properly trained and integrated into a, a, a proper civilization. What is that? Your Majesty, please, I'm sorry. I will do just as you commanded. You two are dismissed. Post. Come on, let's go. And this one is head, nodding head as if she has an agama lizard. <laughs> yes, sweet. My place, lizard chops. Michelle, come, let's go. See who you gave food to go and cook. I'm sorry, Majesty. Look at who she gave. Ah! Hmm. She would have put lizard for us to eat, sir. Possible. <laughs> Really? 
Я не стабильный. Я не стабильный. Я не стабильный. Я не Did your voice start again? <laughs> oh, not at all. Um, I just want to hear her talking again because the last time she was so hilarious. And I think there's something about her. <clears throat> Can we exchange mates? Like one of my maids in exchange for her? Are you tired of your mates? Because I don't understand why you would want to exchange mates. Do you think they are toys to be exchanged just like that? See, my prince, there's no way in this life I can consider a girl with such a gift as a plaything. No, I just think she's special and there's something about her. You know what? I don't blame you. Because you don't have any sense of loyalty with your gender when the opposite gender is involved. I don't know why you're pissed off this much, but... <clears throat> you see, it's love before friendship. Really? I'm only joking, man. Don't take things too serious. Come on. You know you're my brother and I love you. <laughs> Come off it, man. the table very well. Stop it! You just, stop it! Stop it! Why is she... Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my God, from the... Where did he get this girl from? Mike! Michael! Michael, where did you get this animal from? Your Majesty, I only asked her to clean the table with a small rag. I do not know how this, this fool I do not understand. A mop on the table? Like dining table where people eat? Are you mad? Okay. Sorry. I think. Oh my, my god. god! Oh my If you try that now, I'll kill you here. What is wrong with you? Huh? Take this animal out of my sight before I do something drastic to her. Take her away! Take her away! Your, your Majesty, she 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 stinks. Get out! You, you, you heard her, get out and go back. Shut up and just get back to the forest or the bush where you came from, you bush animal. Are you daft or something? Are you crazy? Get out! You stink! Mike! Mike! Where did you get this piece from? Can you imagine? Such royal cheers. Mate! Mate! Kings, queens, sorry about the about the table. Do not punishment me. Sorry. I, I did not call you for that. The queen is in charge of domestic matters. Okay, majestic, what I do? Yes, um, Prince Ramon told me that the pain on his leg is gone completely. Is that true? Yes, medicine I give. You go. Pain, see medicine, pain run. My place, you bring medicine, you give. The person take air, eh, it comes, it comes, it come belly, it come belly, it shake belly, heat come out, sickness run. <laughs> oh my God! Oh, so that's how so funny, <laughs> so funny. But it's okay. Uh, what I'm thinking about People is people sick, sick. Oh they my... go meet doctor. Doctor take money, sickness not go. Yeah, I do. Doctor every time take money. Doctor every time take money, sickness not go. Small medicine. Sickness wrong. <laughs> okay, it's just funny. So right now I want us to have um, a kind of uh, agreement. I want you people to teach my kids, man, the process of this medicine. I've seen that you people have a lot of um, herbs and the way you go about it. So you could teach my my community about it, uh, and um, you know that's how I want it. Majestic, that's hardest. That's one hardest. It's not hardest. I, I, I don't know whether you understand what I mean. It's not for free. We will. I will ensure that 
Money is spare, big money. And then we'll learn how to cook these herbs. I will just give you time to think about it, but it's what I will do. I will give you money, so you send message across to your people about it. Think about it, okay? Yeah? Majestic, I think. <laughs> I think. Answer I cannot give now, I think. Oh, that's, that's no problem. I go. Hey, go. Hey, Thank you, Majestic. Oh, oh. <laughs> Auntie, she gives you points. Something about this child. Something about this child that is making me laugh. <laughs> What is wrong with you? Comes for what? Promise. You have no right to sermon me. I know so much. It's call I call. You called me for what? Problem days. Kings, I call me. I say I go to my community for medicine. What? I take him. No, yes. no, 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 no. This is what I've been afraid of. That is why I keep telling you to lay low. Now you see what you've caused? He, he cannot fit to go. He cannot fit to go because if go, problem me and you. You think I don't know that? You think I don't know that? What is wrong with you? Sir. Oh my God. Ramon is curious about you. Now the king. The next thing, the whole kingdom. What do you think will happen if they, if they find out? Uh, now I'm fearing fear. Now I'm fearing fear. Now you're fearing fear. I keep telling you to lay low. No more doings. I know why I called you because my problem, your problem, your problem, my problem, I called. My problem is not your problem. Your problem is not my problem. My problem, not your problem. Not my problem. Nothing for nothing. Nothing for nothing. I take king. You to my come, 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 come. I go. Are, are you mad? Are you crazy? And you listen. You lay low. Live in this palace like you are not here. Can you do that? So. But now, King, I wait answer tomorrow. What I do? Don't worry about that. I will, I will talk to you myself. Now you talk. <laughs> my problem, now your problem. You talk now. Your problem, not my problem. Mm -hmm. So, nothing for nothing. Nothing for nothing. My problem, not your problem. Not my problem. Now you listen to me. Stop asking me to meet you in private. We are not in any kind of relationship. I don't like you, and that will never change. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. You go? I go. I go. No one sees you, what you, I you. see. Sulusa. Sulu. They don't know what she has in her. She's the girl of my dreams. Ooh, no matter what, I will make her. Your Majesty. Sir? Thank you. Ah. You never told us that the place you went to on adventure is gifted with such heavy power. Oh, um, yeah, I did not know until Ramon said so. But then he complained about um, side effects. Side effects? Uh, no, he didn't. He's completely healed. Uh, what are you talking about? Really? What things? I thought he complained about side effects. He never did. I... I'm of the opinion we should find out they are a, a, a hub for conception so that Mildred can be prepared before marriage. Let uh, us start taking it little by little at mother, least to prepare the womb. Mother, I don't think going to that community will yield any positive results. I'm sorry to dash your hopes, but these people are very secretive with their medicine. They don't share. And they were open to, with it with Raymond. Raymond was able to. We, 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 can, we can, you know, make them understand some certain business. It's called social intelligence. You know, we, we give them what uh, they don't have. Uh, and then in return, they'll give us their orthodox message straight by matter. <laughs> we can sell that idea. <laughs> Dad, these people are not civilized, they don't know what trade is. Look, why don't we empower our physicians here with science and technology and forget about this primitive medicine? I'm making sense, right? What you do, Queen Chamber? What you do? You cause trouble the fire. No, 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 no. None of that is going to happen. I came to at least see your face and thank you for healing me with the herb the other day. Oh, that's Thank you so much. See, this you get, man property you get, use man property. Does not use man thing, problem, come back. 
Use Mantin. Uh, see, I am soon going to be the king, and I need to save enough to have a son. I tell you story. One man, my place, he marry, marry. He use Mantin with wife, use Mantin with wife, use Mantin with wife. It does not bomb boy. Ah. It does not bomb boy. He come, I give her. He born three boys. That powerful? But I does not tell anybody about her. Oh. I give you, you close. You talk, spoil. Oh, don't worry. It's going to be a secret between us. Secretive. Okay? Yes. <laughs> now I go walk before Queen come, Queen beat. Oh, no problem, man. Eh? But take care of yourself for me. Use eh? something. Use man something. Does <laughs> not will. use man something. Problem come back. Problem come back. I does not give blood. No one sees oh. what I see. You're, you're, you're wintering me wound. See, if I can beat you, I will. I just got the king and queen off our backs and you're enticing Ramon with medicine? He, he call, he calls me. I don't, you, you don't want me to answer the call. Why are you telling him to have sex so that his waist pain will not come back? Do you wish to do that with him? Me? That is... Mm -mm does not insult me, does not insult me. I just helps him because he said he likes my medication. Who are you to help him? Huh? Who are you to help him? I should not help a good Listen man. to me, I just tell you to stay in this house like no one is seeing you. Is that too much to ask? I should not help a good man. A good man call, I should not answer. So now he's a good man and I'm the devil. Huh? Now you listen to me. It is only this devil that cares about your safety. If he finds out about your true identity, you think you'll still be a good man? You won't. I will make a man. She's the girl I want. She's the girl I want. Make a man. No matter what they say, no matter what they think, I will make a man. Antifine wickedness does not day. I check good life fitness me. Now I don't clean everything. They don't know what she has. I check. I check it. In her. I check Matty. She's the girl of my dreams. Ooh, no matter what. I will make her mine. Sulusa! What is this? Why are you wearing Mildred's clothes and you even wearing my shoe? What is wrong with you? I wear I check mats if good life fitness me. You check mats? You you even wearing my shoes? If Mildred catches you wearing this outfit, she will bury you alive. What I do? I kill. I does not kill. You're asking me? I check red good life. What I not do? What are you not do? You see this trouble? You are in this trouble yourself. You are in this alone. Jesus Christ. Talks through. It does not fit you. Just shut up. Shut, not shut up your mouth. Shut up. What does not fit you? Does this fit you? Huh? Does it fit you? It doesn't fit. I boot. I find I sexiness. <laughs> they don't know what she has in her. I does not kill somebody. I check not good life.
What is this? What the? I died. I died. Teresa got more than what she deserved. It should have been worse. Much as I disapprove of what she did, I frown at the actions taken by Midway. What if she had drowned in the pool yesterday? Your Majesty, a maid should always remember and never forget her status. Sulusa here overstepping her boundaries could have cost her more. Could have, in fact, her arm should have been chopped off. Oh. Rubbish. Sorry, King. Sorry, Prince. I witnessed good life. Sorry. Let's get Let down. this not happen again. Because next time, you deserve, you, you, you will receive more. That's it. No. Return to your duty. Thank you, Kings. Thank you, Prince. I go. Come on, and stay here with us. I go. Come and stay. How is it that my crown is missing under my roof? Your Majesty. What's the meaning of that? It's an abomination. It's a huge abomination. Whoever is responsible for this, he or she's life will not be spared. This has never happened in this palace before. It is pleasing to touch the king's crown. Let alone move it. How, how can this even happen? If by the end of today and the crown is still missing, I will get the guards, the maids arrested, and tortured severely. Someone is behind this, and I must get to the root of it. Such on. full of herself. Look at her. She wears maid's uniform like us, yet thinks she has equal standing with the royals. Fool. Why are you not worried? Why are you not worried that we'll be tortured for something we know nothing about? Why are I worried? <laughs> what what I find, I does not touch. What I find, I does not sabi. Why are I worry? I don't want to get punished though. I don't want to get punished okay. though. What I find, I touch. I touch what I find. When you open your mouth, then do you know what happens? Foolishness oozes out in form of speech. We do not know the whereabouts of the crown, and we are worried about being tortured. Have sense. I don't want to get punished, though. Ha. Oh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. They torture? They beat? They will torture. They will, they will kill us today. They beat or cut hands? And I don't know, but they will kill us today. Oh. <laughs> Go that side. What are you doing to the crown? <laughs> ah, since I start work in this place, I clean floor, I clean chair, I wash his clothes, everything. But nobody does clean this thing. He, he stays here every time. Nobody does clean it. So I touch it. I said no. It is dirtiness. I put it inside pocket. I put water and I soak it so that all the dirt dirtiness will, will go out. It is washing it that I wash. Wait, what kind of foolishness is this? Huh. Doesn't she know he's a clown? You have never seen a clown in your life? So even think that she led the search for it while having it washed. That is the height of foolishness. Who instructed you to wash this crown? <laughs> you does not know anything. Do I need instructs before I wash dirt? I see dirty, I wash dirty. I bad? No, I do bad. Your Highness, she must be punished. This is sacrilege. 
No one dares touch the crown except the king or the head to the throne. I know, but, but, but I'm thinking again. What are you thinking about? Are you going to let this idiot go? Really? Like, really? Well, I know what she has done is not the right thing, but I think she needs a proper orientation on how things are wrong around here. You saw how one small fly shook the peace of the real house today. Ignorance, they say, is an incurable disease. It sinks whatever that is close to it. Mother, I think Sulusa is not aware of what to do and what not to do. She has no idea of boundaries and superiority. Where she comes from, they only recognize old and young. There are no royals and commoners. They all live as one in a very, very small community. And that does not justify the fact she is trying to kill the peace of this royal house. So I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to do something noble. And as commendable as that is, it is a promise that is doomed to break. Return her to her community. Send her away as a, As if you don't know what she did. As heinous as that is, send her away! Mother, I cannot do that. What kind of a prince will I be if I cannot keep my word? A prince's word is treated as gold. I cannot take it back after giving it. Else I'll be seen as weak and lacking integrity. And your word is stronger and better than the peace, stability of this royal house. Her mother entrusted her to me, and I cannot break her fragile heart by taking her back. I'm not breaking your heart, mother. All we have to do is to educate her, and everything will be fine. I see. Crazy? Oh, no. Crazy? No, 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 no. I, I was not trying to do anything bad. Eh? You know, say, um, you know, in this kind of life we are now, this is how men show women they like them. Why you like? I want to marry you. You marry somebody you married before. Eh? Somebody wife you marry. You, you crazy? You are married. Does not touch me again. Does not twinkle me again. Touch me, twinkle me, I finish you. I will make a man. Big news. Huh. The chief guard said that Sulusa is a married woman. Huh. Huh. No, 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 no. That must be a joke. Huh. No. no. I mean, it is sacrilegious for a married woman to be a palace maiden. Well, they can have her killed if this is discovered the truth. <laughs> Very no, it's serious. Not, it's not possible. No. Oh. <sighs> Really? Really? The prince himself knows that a married woman cannot be a maid in this palace. So what are you talking about? Oh, Say nothing. Me. 
I will get to the root of all this. Huh? Let me just take it as one of our jokes. Come on, go back to your jobs. Mike, how well do you know this Sulusa? I mean, her identity. Are we still on this? I have told you I am not kicking her out on the issue of ignorance and illiteracy. I see. And I ask you, what if she does, she does not meet the criteria of being a maid? Are we allowed to kick her out? What criteria are we talking about? My prince, we heard that Slusa is a married woman. Yes! And a married woman is not expected to be here in the palace as a maid. How? Um, I mean, who, who told you that? She confessed that herself to the chief guard. And honestly, the way it stands, if this is true, we cannot only punish her. We will kick her out of this place. Mike, how well do you know her? What facts do you know about her? Or you just saw her, took pity on her, and brought another man's wife to the palace? Well, I um, met with her family and nobody made mention of her being married. Look, I'm sure this is one of Sulusa's ignorant jokes. Ignorance is not an excuse to break the laws of the palace. I will make sure she suffers if I find out that what she said is the truth. She will not be saved from my wrath. I'll make sure she pays dearly for deceiving me. But I can make your findings well. Why are you parading yourself as a married woman? Huh? <coughs> you, you, you better not lie to me because you told the chief guard you're married. I talk. Chief, chief guard comes. He talks. He likes me. <coughs> he likes to marry me. I said no. He does not marry a married woman that is married already. Is that why you told him that? If they ask you to provide a husband, do you have one to show? <coughs> huh? People talk normal talk to, to chase people that want to chase them. I, I just talk it. It's a girl talk. Stop making such expensive jokes in this palace. Do you know that maids that are married can be punished and kicked out for it? Mm? Yes. Tutuza. What's Tutuza? I does not know that they killed them. Stop making such expensive jokes in this palace. <coughs> Do you understand? Now get out. <laughs> you kills me. Get out. I go. Go. <coughs> they don't know what she has in her. She's the girl of my dreams. Ooh, no matter what, I will make her mine. No one sees what I see. My, my girls are at the shop there. Yes, once you supply the goods, they will confirm and I'll make payment immediately. Cat! 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 What the fuck? What? What I do? Tell me again. What I do? What were you thinking when you tried to, to attack? My, my wife with this wood. <laughs> sorry. Queen's sorry. Attack I plan not. Since I call palace, every day I see evil. I see evil, I look evil. Every day I see evil, I look evil. Today my body does not want to look evil. I want to kill. Because my village red feather evil, we kill. We born because evil. Today I see again. My body touch me. My body say kill, kill. I kill. I does not know. Excuse I me. Are you saying that your target was on the feathers, on the crown? Yes. 
This, this evil, evil. That's a lie. Your Majesty, this girl almost broke my head with this long <laughs> food. My head is aching now, as if, as if a, a, a thread like jammed my head. Oh, she had, this, this is a conspiracy. She has always known that I kicked against her existence in, in, in this palace. So, 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 so she made a move at my life, pretending it was the, it was okay. the, the feather. Which feather? Which feather? Yes, shut! There is no ignorance entertained in the king. For this, you are going to be in dark room for three days without food. Her foolishness cracks you up so hard. <laughs> Even though as humorous as that looks, it was not your head that that can almost hit today. Oh, sorry. I'm so sorry about that. I've never seen things so funny like that. I don't know whether you see her as, an, as a royal jester or what. Uh, or whether I am the jester. Any royal house that sees her queen as a royal jester should be ashamed of itself. <laughs> sorry about that. She has been punished for this. But the fact is that nobody can really throw light on what happened. In the palace today. Okay. That punishment was the least of it. Ah. She should have been killed. In fact, beheaded. Or chopped her hands, chopped off. Keep her alive, but without hands. Oh, that girl is a prone to, 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 to accident in, 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 in this palace. I see. I see. Save your breath, okay? I believe she will be guarded after this punishment. But I've never seen a thing that made my queen scream for a long while. Oh. And I've never seen you laugh so hard. I don't know when you became this soft or you are gloating over my misfortune or what. It's not. Tell me. It's not. Can you stop? I oh, what I do here? What I do here? Now see me, now punish me again. No, nobody will punish you again. Um, I heard what happened to you. I heard you were locked in the guardroom for days without food. Hope you're okay now. I hear you where you pity me for the pain. Yes. I'm sorry about that. Um... I'm very sorry about that. I, I know your intentions are pure, but the actions you took were, were dangerous. Oh, it's fine. It's Thank fine. you. You care, care. Not prince that does not care, care for humans. <laughs> of course I care about you and you're my friend. Um, I heard you were flogged the other day because you wore clothes that belonged to Mildred. You know what? I bought you nice clothes and shoes. Yes. Gift me. Yes. I believe she's here on a mission. On a mission to kill and destroy, destabilize every member of this household. She knows that uh, any attempt on my life will bring an ultimate end to her. This one. Her life means nothing. Who is she? A lowly maid, the lowest of them all. Your Majesty, she is not even a royal physician. How can you trust her with your heart portion, your heart treatment portion? This one that does not even go to school. Does she know the quantity she will give you as a dosage? Well, um, I, I just want to trust her because she's from a place where they specialize. Orthodox medicine. I will do myself injustice if I do not use this opportunity to bring a lasting solution to my email. Your Majesty, there could be side effects that might lead to complications. Wait, are you desperate for this healing that you have risked it all? Why don't you stick to the normal medication our royal physician prescribed for you? What have you been doing sitting out here? What are you doing with this girl? Well, let my faith work for me. <laughs> 